Well, good Tuesday evening. Thanks for logging on to WKBN.com. I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Craig Zybert. Plenty of sunshine around for the first half of your day this Tuesday. Then the clouds rolled in later this afternoon. As you see here on your satellite, you're picking up on these areas of white there. The gray and the white, that's those clouds that have rolled in. But notice back towards the west, there's some areas of clearing still. These are a couple areas of low pressure and associated very weak cold fronts that will throw us some clouds off and on through our night tonight. But if we get a little bit of clearing, want to look up tonight. Mars is going to make its closest pass to the Earth until the year 2035. Mars is only only going to be 38.6 million miles away from the Earth tonight. So if you look into the eastern sky, eastern to southeastern sky, you find a bright reddish object up there, especially after about 7.30 when Mars rises. The moon rises shortly after 9.30 this evening. If you see that, make sure you send us a couple pictures. That will be Mars. That's going to be its closest pass again tonight till the year 2035. So hopefully we can get those clouds out of here. But notice again, we have these two areas of cold fronts that are working their way through, one up in northern the northern plains one is kind of touching off some of those clouds tonight so as those clouds roll in may not get a chance to see that mars pass but hopefully we do get a chance to see that tonight risk of rain will be low i'll bring you through that in just a second but we have a very strong hurricane delta category 4 storm this evening with winds of 145 miles per hour as of 5 p.m this hurricane means business and it's going to work its way towards the Yucatan Peninsula, Cancun area over the next 24 hours or so. Beyond that, models are showing it going in towards the Texas, Louisiana coastline. And then each one of these is a separate computer model showing the position of the center of circulation. Notice some of these models bring the system over to the Carolina and southern Ohio Valley as we go into Sunday and Monday. With, these, with the moisture that's going to try to wrap around that system, may try to throw a couple light rain showers our direction Sunday and Monday. If it takes this more southern track, we probably won't see much of anything. If it takes a northern track, we have a better chance of seeing some of those rain showers. So we'll fine tune that forecast as we get a little bit closer. Here at home, the big story tonight will be the clouds off and on and the wind. We'll see some breezing conditions continuing as temperatures only fall to about the low to mid 50s. So a nice cool start, but not as cool as it has been the last couple days. Go through your afternoon tomorrow. Notice you see Future Tracker trying to fling a couple of those light rain showers, especially across parts of northern Mercer County. That has the best chance of seeing some of those rain showers, and even that will be on the light side. As we go through your evening tomorrow, we will see those winds begin to calm down, and the clouds will begin to clear out as we go into the overnight. Into your day on Thursday, a little bit chillier Thursday morning. Temperatures will start the day in the mid, upper, mid to upper 40s. Then as we go through your Thursday night, those Clouds will begin to continue to decrease. We'll have plenty of sunshine. A little cooler on Thursday. Temperatures only in the low 60s, but we have a big warm up on the way after that. 53 degrees or overnight low tonight. Those breezy conditions will continue at times through the evening. We'll go through your day tomorrow. 70 degrees, so a nice warm day, partly to mostly cloudy. We will see, keep those breezes around as we go through your Wednesday afternoon. Thursday is the cooler day of the next seven. Notice you see those temperatures working their way back to the upper 60s and into the mid 70s as we go into your weekend. We cool off a little bit, but not really in terms of temperatures as we go into the first part of next week. Temperatures staying in the upper 60s and low 70s Sunday through Tuesday. Then we begin to watch that track of Hurricane Delta. What's left of it by Sunday and Monday could throw a couple showers our direction. So this forecast on Sunday and Monday could be drier could be a little bit wetter. It all depends on which track that storm takes. We will fine tune that as we get a little closer.